In this question, an aluminium alloy rod has a length of 10 centimetres at 20 degrees Celsius and a length of 10.015 centimetres at the boiling point of water. From this information, we're asked to ascertain what is the length of the rod at the freezing point of water, or 0 degrees Celsius, and also what is the temperature if the length of the rod is 10.009 centimetres. So this is ultimately a question about expansion. All materials expand when the temperature is changed and in this particular case we're going to consider just expansion along one dimension since we've got a rod. In that case for linear expansion we can say that the change in the length of an object is proportional to the length of the object, is proportional to the coefficient of linear expansion alpha and how much we change the temperature by delta t. And so basically this is a question where we're going to use this expression here. So first of all, let's have a look at part A. We want to find out what is the length of the rod at the freezing point of water. Well, in order to know that, what we really want to do is work out what is the coefficient of linear expansion alpha. So let's start by trying to work out what alpha is for this aluminium alloy. The simplest way of doing that is to consider what we know about it. We know that the length changes from 10 centimetres to 10.015 centimetres uh, for a temperature change of 80 degrees between 20 and, uh, and 100. <coughs> so let's start off by writing down what our change in length is. So this is going to, this change in length is the final length minus the initial length. So that's going to be 10.015 centimetres minus uh, 10.000 centimetres. That's my change in length, delta L. It is then equal to the original length that we started with, okay, which is 10.000, multiplied by alpha, multiplied by my change in temperature. And once again, that change in temperature is T final minus T initial. The initial temperature was 20 degrees Celsius, that's when my rod was initially 10 centimetres. Therefore, my final temperature must be the boiling point of water, which is at 100 degrees Celsius, minus my initial temperature was 20 degrees Celsius, so that's going to be 80. Okay, so let's rearrange this and make alpha the subject of the expression here. So my difference in lengths uh, is going to be 0 0.015. 0.015 centimetres, that's the left hand side of my equation. I then am going to divide by 10, and I'm also going to divide by the difference of these brackets here, which is 80. And that would leave alpha by itself. If I pop this into my calculator, I find that alpha uh, has the numerical value 1.875 by 10 to the minus 5. Uh, per degree Celsius. So that's the linear coefficient of expansion. So now that we know how this material behaves for uh, any change in temperature, now we can have a look at what the length of the rod is going to be at the freezing point of water. So the length of the rod at the freezing point of water is going to be equal to the original length plus how much the length changes by, L plus delta L. So in this case I can use my equation at the top here uh, and substitute for delta L, so it's going to be my original length, uh, which is the length at, uh, I'm going to take uh, 10 centimetres to be my original length, we'll call that one L, plus, let's see, so delta L is L times alpha times my change in temperature. If I look at that carefully, L is a common factor, so I can take that outside, so it's one plus alpha times delta T. So to put some numerical values into here, we'll remember that the original length uh, that we were considering, I was taking that to be the length at 20 degrees Celsius, so that's my 10.000 centimetres. Multiplied by outside, 1 plus alpha we have is 1.875 by 10 to the minus 5, and then multiply that value by delta t. And what's delta t? It's t final minus t initial. In this case, I wanted to consider what was the length of the rod at the freezing point of water. So this is going to be the final temperature. It's going to be the freezing point of water, which is 0 degrees Celsius, minus my initial temperature, which is 20 degrees Celsius. So if you look carefully at uh, what's inside those brackets there, I can numerically evaluate that. I have 10.000 multiplied by, the term in the brackets is 1 
plus uh, a very small number multiplied by negative 20. So in fact, it's going to be a number smaller than 1. Uh, it's going to be uh, 1 minus 37.5 by 10 to the minus 5. Uh, and that value in there is actually uh, equal to uh, 0.999625. You can multiply that by 10. And so my length at 0 degrees Celsius is really equal to 9.999625 centimetres. Uh, so my, leg, my rod has shortened by 3.75 microns. So we've got the answer for part A. What is the length of the rod at the freezing point of water? Well, it's this value here. In part B, what I want to consider, uh, ask myself what's the temperature at 10.009 centimetres. Okay, so once again, give myself a bit of room here. Let's do part B. Uh, I want to find the length, uh, sorry, I want to find the temperature, <coughs> remind myself, the temperature at uh, where the length um, is equal to 10.009 uh, centimetres. So in order to use this uh, delta L is equal to L alpha change in temperature, I need to pick a known temperature and a known length. So let's make L1 once again uh, the 10.000 centimetres and this was at the temperature uh, of uh, 20 degrees Celsius. So my change in L here is equal to L2 minus L1 that's equal to 0 0.009 centimetres. That's the left hand side of the equation. The right hand side of the equation here well remember this L corresponds to the the length of my, of my starting temperature, which is 20 degrees Celsius, so uh, that's equal to 10.000 centimetres, multiplied by my coefficient of linear expansion, 1.875 by 10 to the minus 5, multiplied by my change in temperature, T final minus T initial. Now, T final is what I want to find out. I don't know what the temperature is when the length is equal to 10.009 centimetres, but I do know that T initial was the temperature uh, when I had a length of 10 centimetres, so that's my 20. So I can rearrange this expression to get uh, Tf as the uh, as the subject. <coughs> uh, so let's just go through and look at this. 0 0.009 is the left hand side. If I divide that by 1.875 by 10 to the minus 4 now, and multiplying this uh, 10 minus 5 by 10 gives me 10 minus 4. That should equal uh, T final uh, minus 20. So all I need to do is add 20 uh, to the left hand side to get my final temperature. Uh, putting all of these things into my calculator. Uh, so this uh, ratio here is 48. So 48 plus 20 is 68 degrees Celsius. So that's the temperature when my length is 10.009.